How do you think about yourself? What are the words you use to describe yourself to yourself? When you make a mistake or you do something that like dropping a glass or something, do you call yourself stupid or an idiot or any other sort of demeaning sort of a phrase? If you do, you really need to stop. And actually, if you're even using the word sorry, you should really kind of pay attention to how much you're using the word sorry and the situations in which you're using sorry. All of these things are really words and statements we use to support a less than strong sense of self. And in these times, it's really important that we empower ourselves as much as possible. There are so many wonderful videos on all the different social media sites that are informing people on the ways in which to be better and to interact with themselves and people around them in a better way and to stop being around people who are gaslighting or are demeaning or are harmful or shameful. And I really recommend you tune into those people. But I also really even more importantly recommend that you do practices that really work for you, that really honor yourself. So when someone asks you a question to do something, you say, let me think on it rather than immediately saying yes. And then you get to see maybe how the person responds. Do they start trying to uh, manipulate you? Do they start trying to make you feel bad or guilty for not saying yes immediately? And if so, that should immediately tell you you might want to take a little bit longer to answer the person. There are many ways that we need to really empower ourselves nowadays, and I believe that astrology helps us to understand the ways in which each of us in particular need to empower ourselves. Hi, my name is Michael Bartlett, Master Metaphysical Astrologer, and my goal here is to empower people to be the best version of themselves. And so in the pursuit of us becoming ourselves, we oftentimes end up acting in ways towards other people that maybe isn't true to ourselves because we want something out of them or we need to keep our job or we need to um, keep in a relationship because the finances are supporting us to do some of the things we really need to do, but it's really painful. Um, this is now really a time where we really need to start asking ourselves, what is the price that we're actually paying? Because sometimes what is going on is that we're actually paying a price that really continues to keep us diminished and unempowered and to be subservient and less than we really actually are. And so I'm here among many astrologers and many other life coaches and support people on the planet who are really here to empower because right now on the planet we need empowered individuals. We need every one of you to be all you can be because it's going to take all of us doing our own respective parts to get through the craziness that is ensuing now. Big change is coming. Are you ready? Astrology helps you know what's coming up. Tune into my channel. Look at my website, coremichael.com. Send me emails if you'd like, michael at coremichael.com. And check out my other social media. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Like, share with your friends, and have a great day. Take care. Bye.